Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a powerful and beginner-friendly video editing software, Minitool Movie Maker 8.2. Whether you're just getting started with video editing or looking for a simple way to create stunning videos without complex tools, this software might be exactly what you need. I'll walk you through its features, show you how to use it, and share some tips to make your videos look professional. So, make sure to watch till the end. I'll show you how to download and install the software step by step. It's completely free. Just go to the official Minitool website and install it on your PC, quick and easy. Once installed, we'll explore its main features, how to import your media, edit clips, add transitions, apply effects and finally export your video. As soon as you install the software, this is the interface you'll see in front of you. First, click on New Project to get started. First of all, these are the main options you'll find at the top. Each one helps you perform a different task while editing your video. Media, Audio Text, Transition Effect, Filters Elements, Motion. This section on the right shows the project info. Here, you can see important details about your current project like resolution, the quality or dimensions of your video, for example, 1920 by 1080, frame DO playback will be usually 25 or 30 FPS. Damage, now click on import media files and select any video or picture from your computer that you want to use in your project. I've imported a video into the project. Let's move on to the editing part and see what we can do with it. Once a clip is selected on the timeline, you'll see some important tools just above it. Crop Speed Split, Delete and Undo Redo. I've clicked on the Split button and now the video has been divided into two separate clips on the timeline. This allows me to edit each part individually. I've made one part of the video smaller and placed it on top of the original. Now it looks like there are two videos playing at the same time, but actually, it's the same video shown twice, just in different sizes. You can follow up with, this effect is useful if you want to highlight a specific area or create a picture-in-picture -picture view using the same clip. First, click on the Audio tab from the top left panel. In the Audio tab, you'll find a collection of free music and sound effects. You can preview them and drag the one you like into the timeline to use as background music. In the Audio tab, you'll see different categories of music like Happy, Romantic, Love, Chill and Classic. Each category has a selection of songs that you can preview and use in your project. Just click on a track to listen and drag it into the timeline to add it to your video. Next, click on the text tab. Here you'll find different text templates like title, caption and credits. Just choose the one you like, then drag and drop it onto the timeline. And then, after adding the text, Click on it in the preview window to edit the words. Change the font, color, size and position. Now let's take a look at the transition tab. Transitions are effects that help you smoothly switch from one clip to another instead of a sudden cut. You can continue with, there are many styles available like fade, slide, wipe, wipe, zoom and more. To use one, just drag the transition and drop it between two clips on the timeline. And then, you can adjust the duration of the transition by dragging its edge on the timeline. Now let's move to the Effect tab. This section allows you to apply visual filters to your video clips to change the color, mood or overall style. You can follow it with, there are different effects available like black and white, film grain, vignette, glitch, and more. To use one, just drag the effect and drop it onto your video clip in the timeline. And then, 
You can also adjust or remove the effect at any time if you want to try a different look. Now let's move to the Filter tab. Filters are color effects that instantly change the look and feel of your video. You can continue with, you'll find filters like cinematic, vintage, cool, warm, sepia, and many more. Just drag your favorite filter onto the clip in the timeline and it will apply the effect instantly. Just drag a filter onto your clip and it's applied right away. It's a quick way to make your video stand out. Now let's check out the Elements tab. This tab includes animated graphics like arrows, shapes, emojis, icons, stickers and more. You can follow it with These elements are great for adding fun, emphasis or decoration to your video. For example, you can use an arrow to point at something or add an emoji for reactions. To use one, simply drag the element you like and drop it onto the timeline. You can resize it and move it anywhere on the screen. Now let's check out the Motion tab. This tab allows you to add movement to your images or video clips, even if they're static. You can follow with, you'll find options like zoom in, zoom out, pan left, pan right, and more. These motions help make your photos or videos more dynamic. To apply one, just drag a motion effect and drop it onto your clip in the timeline. Now you can see how our video has turned out after editing. We applied different options like text, transitions, effects, audio, and elements to make it more engaging and professional. You can also add, this is how we used each tool step by step to create a complete edited video. You can follow the same process to make your own video easily. Once you're done editing, it's time to save your final video. For that, click on the export button. At the top right, you can select popular formats like MP4, AVI, MOV and choose the quality such as 480p, 720p or 1080p depending on what you need. Corner. You can follow with A new window will open where you can choose the video format, resolution, file name and save location. After selecting your settings, click the export button again and your video will start saving. And that's how you can easily edit your videos using Mini Tool Movie Maker. I hope this step-by-step -step guide helped you understand how each option works and how to create a professional-looking video, even if you're a beginner. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any future tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.